हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर कादम्बरी अग्रवाल फ्रॉम एबीएस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द सिस्टम डिजाइन अप्रोचेस विद यू द आउटलाइन ऑफ टुडे डिस्कशन इज सिस्टम डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रोसीजर ओरिएंटेड अप्रोच एंड द सिक्योरिटी प्रॉब्लम इन प्रोसीजर ओरिएंटेड अप्रोच देन विल बी डिस्कसिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड अप्रोच एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोसीजर एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड अप्रोच ऑफ सिस्टम डिजाइन actually the system development is a process of defining designing and testing a new software application or a program so basically there are two approaches of system development one is a procedure oriented approach and second one is a object oriented approach programming is used as a tool for the system development first of all we would like to discuss the procedure oriented approach in procedure oriented approach there is a main program and we consider the functions which are incorporated in the main program then uh, sub functions if suppose main program consists of function 1 and function 2 and later on function 1 consists of function 3 and function 4 so this approach is basically uh, based on identifying the functions so there is a problem in this approach the problem is security problem suppose we are declaring any data as a global data then all the functions can access that particular global data in the procedure oriented approach and this particular problem is resolved in object oriented approach uh, with the help of classes and object that will be discussing later on so this is a security problem here is the example of that you can see uh, we have make one global variable that is a top and it, it will be accessed by the push function and the pop function both so there is a security issue and there are so many limitations of the procedure oriented approach the program code is harder to write definitely we have to identify the functions in a software so it will be a difficult to identify each and every function and we have to write the code of each and every function the procedural code is often not reusable because in procedure oriented approach we cannot reuse the code we cannot extend the code that is another problem and the third problem is difficult to relate with real world problem the procedure oriented approach is not close to the real world problem fourth one is the importance is given to the operation rather than the data as i have already told you we have to identify the functions in the procedure approach so uh, it is focused on the function rather than the objects the data is exposed to the whole program in the previous slide we have shown you uh, if i am declaring any variable as a global variable then it will be accessed by all the functions of that program so these are the limitation you can see the block diagram of the limitations and the second approach of the system design is the object oriented approach as the name suggest the object oriented approach focuses on the objects and objects are the real world entities the behavior of this object is described by the functions so this approach will consist of objects their attributes and their functions attributes means we are talking about the data structures and uh, behavior means we are talking about the functions objects are intended to enable programmers to map a real world problem and its proposed software solution on a one to one basis so these are the features of object oriented approach if you are making any system software with the help of object oriented approach then these features will be incorporated it will consist of class object it will support abstraction it will support encapsulation it will support inheritance and polymorphism so we'll be discussing one by one what is a object what is the concept of object you can see from here objects are any real world entities they have certain attributes they are identifiable they have a unique identity for example object may represent a person it may represent a animal it may represent a bird or anything examples as you can see in the diagram apple is object pencil is object anything any real world entity is object and these are the object of animal classes 
and object identity whenever i am talking about object the definition of object is very much clear to you that is it is a real world entity it has attributes and features anything which is having attributes and feature is a object but every object has a unique identity suppose i am talking about car car is a object but every car has unique identity car may be audi it has a serial number if i am talking about two audi car then two audi car will also have a different identity their engine number will be different their serial number will be different the second feature of object oriented programming is class class is a group of similar type of objects having similar features example different object exist in the real world and these are categorized into different classes as you can see in this diagram uh, this is a car and uh, you can see three flowers are there three cars are there three human beings are there and we can identify we can categorize these in a similar classes for example i can make one class for the car second class for the flower and third class for the person so these three person will come under this class and flowers will come under this particular flower class and car will come under this car class so we can keep the similar type of object in a class then further this is an extension of class class is used to describe the structure of object that how the object will look likes class is also a pattern or template which produces similar kind of object class is basically a data structure which is specified by attributes and its functionality suppose if i have made a car class then it will have a model it will have a brand it will have a color the next feature of object oriented programming is encapsulation encapsulation this word arises from the capsule as we can see the capsule consists of different salt so encapsulation is defined as wrapping up of data under a single name it is a mechanism that binds together code and data it it is a protective shield that prevents the data from being accessed by the code outside the shield that is a basic advantage and it was a disadvantage in case of like a uh, procedure oriented uh, approach the data was not secure uh, but in this object oriented approach data is secure with the help of encapsulation we are binding the features and behavior of a object under a single name that is called class and generalized example of uh, encapsulation you can see school bag uh, if we see the school bag then it will contain ba uh, bottle lunch box books so it is basically school bag is a uh, providing a encapsulation so this is a real world example because this is a this programming language is very close to the real world so at every moment we can take the example from the real world these are the advantages of encapsulation the encapsulated code is more flexible and easier to change it prevents the other classes to access the private fields encapsulation allows modifying implemented code without breaking other code that has implemented the code it keeps the data and code safe from external inheritance it improves the maintainability of the application so these are the advantages of the encapsulation then uh, the system development approach of object oriented the next features is information hiding it is closely associated with encapsulation i mean it is implemented uh, with the help of encapsulation only so information hiding protects the data from direct modification by other parts of the program it includes the process of combining the data and function into a single unit by restricting direct access to the data from outside the world we have a object with their attributes and behavior that are hidden from the other classes so encapsulation and data hiding these are two parallel concepts i mean data hiding is implemented with the help of encapsulation when we'll make the capsule that means we'll create the class and we will bind the features and behavior of a class under a single name that is a class template then we are uh, actually uh, hiding the data because data part will be written in the uh, 
private part and function will be public. So actually encapsulation is providing the data hiding. The advantages of information hiding is it ensures exclusive data access and prevents intent or unintended change in the data. It helps in reducing system complexity and increase the robustness of the program. It prevents programmers from the accidental linkage to the incorrect data. Although there is a disadvantage also, it may sometimes force the programmer to use extra coding for creating effects for hiding the data. Abstraction. Abstraction is another feature of object-oriented programming. Abstraction means displaying only the essential information. Whatever the complexity is hidden from the end user. Consider a real life example of a man driving a car. The man only knows the pressing the accelerator will increase the speed of the car or applying the brakes will stop the car. But he doesn't know about how the pressing accelerator the speed is actually increasing. He doesn't know about the inner mechanism of the car or the implementation of the accelerator, brakes, etc. in the car. This is what abstraction is. Abstraction is implemented using classes. Abstraction uh, may be implemented using header files and abstraction may be implemented using access specifier. It is basically hiding the complexity of the program. Inheritance is another feature of object oriented system development. Inheritance is a mechanism in, win in which one object properties and behavior of a parent object uh, is inherited by the child. It is an important part of object oriented programming. The idea behind inheritance is that uh, we can create new classes that are built upon existing classes and it will, uh, you know, provide reusability. So the basic use of inheritance is that it will provide a reusability of the code which is not possible in the procedure oriented approach. Inheritance is basically is a parent child kind of relationship. It is, is a relationship. Uh, in which child is inheriting features from the parent and apart from inheriting the features, child has its own features. This is an example of inheritance. You can see we are making one class, animal class and this animal class is a parent class. Dog class, cat class, cow class are inherited inherited class from the animal class this dog class will inherit certain features from the animal class apart from that it will have its own features and it will uh, give rise to the reusability then the last concept of object oriented programming is polymorphism Polymorphism is uh, poly means uh, many and morphism means form that is a one thing in many form a same person like uh, the example you can see the security guard can have different behavior at different situation like if you are visiting a mall then security guard will salute you and suppose you are uh, going to give your examination then security guard will check your admit card and he will frisk you so you know uh, that is a he is a security guard but he is performing forming the different functionalities so in the object oriented programming this particular polymorphism will be implemented by operator overloading function overloading and virtual function so now the we are concluding that is the difference between procedure oriented and object oriented approach these are the two approaches for system development you can see from this diagram the procedure oriented programming the global data is shared with all the functions in our program in object oriented programming we are making classes in classes we are declaring uh, private part in private part we are declaring all the data in public part we are making all the functions so that why this is an intact kind of thing you can see and uh, one more example we can understand the difference between procedure oriented and object oriented system development suppose i want to make a software of shopping mall and with the help of uh, procedure oriented approach uh, i will think in a manner of functions like which function place order make payment cancel order so i will make uh, uh, I mean software in this particular thought process and if I have to make the software using object oriented approach then my thought process will be revolving around objects like customer, product, bill, order because this particular approach is very close to real life. 
and these are the actual difference statement wise object oriented uh, programming and uh, pop is a procedure oriented programming object oriented programming follows bottom up approach procedure oriented is top down approach in this object oriented programming program is divided into objects and their interaction basically it is a interaction among the objects and in pop the basically program is divided into functions inheritance is supported by the object oriented programming it is not supported by the procedure oriented programming access control and access specifier public protected these are supported by object oriented programming no access modifier are supported by procedure oriented programming encapsulation data abstraction data hiding all these are supported by object oriented approach of system development and no data hiding is present data is globally accessible in procedure oriented programming example you all know very well c++ java python ruby and go language these are the example of object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming c pascal and fortran so these are the references and one thing i would like to conclude at the end i would like to tell you that uh, there is a one language which is completely object oriented is a small talk even c++ java and python these are called as partially object oriented language because primitive data types are also supported by these languages so if anybody ask you which is a completely object oriented programming which only supports a concept of class not any primitive kind of data type like in care and float so that is only a small talk c++ is a uh, object oriented language no issues in it but it is also supporting the features of c like primitive data type so it is not uh, completely object oriented this is for your uh, knowledge point of view i am sharing with you and this is a references if you have liked my uh, uh, discussion you can share like and subscribe thank you so much